Now that you know why there are only 12 numbers on the clock, help me put it together. Put the numbers where they belong. You still have some numbers to place. Now move both hands of the clock. You'll need a screw to hold them into place. Well done! You've built a cuckoo clock. Let's play with it, and soon you'll be able to tell the time on any kind of clock or watch. Cut up the cardboard box to find out what's inside. Well now it's time to learn how this clock works. The small red hand shows the hour. Set the hour to 5 o'clock a.m. Set the hour to 3 o'clock a.m. Set the hour to 1 o'clock a.m. Set the hour to 4 o'clock p.m. Set the hour to 11 o'clock a.m. Set the hour to 6 o'clock a.m. Well done! We're ready to play with the big hand. Press the cloud to fill the bucket. Well done! You've... There are always two hands on a clock. The small one sews the hour, and the big one sews the minutes. Using the two hands, big and small, try to set the clock to the right time. Set the hour to 4 o'clock a.m. Set the hour to 6 o'clock a.m. Set the hour to 9.45 a.m. Set the hour to 3 o'clock a.m. Set the hour to 1.15 a.m. Set the hour to 6.45 a.m. Well done! You're doing really well with the big hand. Now we can move on to something a bit more difficult. There's magic in the air. Close the chest and you'll get a surprise. Well done. You've... In order to give an exact time, your ancestors divided the hour into minutes. One hour equals 60 minutes. The two hands of a clock are linked. They move together. The big hand shows the minutes. Every time it goes right around the dial, the small hand, which shows the hour, moves on to the next number. Here's a challenge for you. Set the clock to the time I say. Set the hour to 4.28 p.m. Set the hour to 10.35 a.m. Set the hour to 9.42 p.m. Set the hour to 5.31 a.m. Set the hour to 7.29 p.m.
Set the hour to three forty a.m. Great! You're getting really good at telling the time. Cut up the cardboard box to find out what. Well done. I have one last thing to tell you. We use specific phrases to tell the time. Come on, I'll explain. The clock here is divided into four parts. When the clock shows three hours fifteen minutes, we say it's a quarter past three because the first quarter of the hour has passed. The clock now shows three hours thirty minutes. We say it's half past three because half of the hour has passed. When it's three hours forty-five minutes, we say it's a quarter to four because there's only one quarter of an hour left until four o'clock. Look, there are four clocks in front of you. I'll say a time, and you touch the right clock. Two's quarter past ten a.m. Two's quarter to noon. Two's quarter to eight a.m. Two's quarter past three a.m. Two's quarter past nine a.m. Two's Half past eleven a.m. Great! Now you can have fun telling the time using the right words. Press the cloud to fill the bucket. Well, I have another mission for you. Let's try to tell the time without the digital clock face. Point to the clock face that matches the time I say. Let's go. Two's three o six a.m. It's time for the clock challenge. To win points, press the big red button when the hands show the same hour as the digital dial. Children all over the world are trying to beat the record. It's your turn now. Are you ready? Let's go. Thank、you